Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Marnell. I'm back with the 100 Day Project and we are on day 85 and making junk journal toppers. So it is a topper or a just a a topper that you will make to add on the front of a journal. You can even, if you're making toppers and you're actually a card maker, you can make, use it as a, the front of a card. So it's definitely not just for journals. I'm just, I want to get a base for my topper to glue everything on. So it's just the beginning, I would, a topper, I would say, if you ask my opinion, is just the beginning of, it's like, almost like a, a, a snippet or a cluster for the front of your journal, if that makes any sense, but you will create your topper, and I think then for me, I usually add more things to my journal. I don't just do a topper. So I have these images. They are printed on paper. So let's see, shall we use, let's use this middle one. with that is that straight it is straight enough <laughs> so I've got a, a variety of things here I have um, scrap papers I have laces fabrics all kinds of things lying around here on my desk that I will pull from the fun part about making a journal cover is that you can actually add things that's things that's a little bit more bulky to your cover, front cover, or so I'm wondering how this, I think that will look okay. And I am going to tear the fabric because I do like that torn look and kind of frayed fabric. I'm just trying to see where the edge of my topper is. I like to um, start my topper with a just a base, like a file folder. It does not have to be a thick piece of cardstock. Just something to glue everything on and if you want to sew then you can sew onto it as well. I just want to fray this a little bit more and maybe it won't. No it won't so we'll just not fray it a little bit more. Okay so we'll glue that on and then have this on top and then um, I, I would probably sew around all of this as well but not immediately just trying to figure out what I want to do first so let's see what we have here I do like that edge maybe I'll cut that edge off have it sit like that and what else do I have here I have this pink from a shirt that I took apart I do feel I want to add some color with this um, or do I want to add this this I think is from Ruby and Pearl Maybe 
if I just make a little frame around it for some of the pink to peek through. Maybe more like this. And then have make a ruffle out of this, but I need to sew the ruffle, so we'll have to I'll have to go to the sewing machine for that, but I can do that and come back. I don't have my sewing machine set up today. Um, maybe cut this a little longer. Decide on the ruffle. So maybe have the ruffle here because that pink maybe make the ruffle a little smaller. I That pink is not exactly that, but I do like the way it looks. So we'll just make this ruffle not as wide for that other pink to still show a little bit, I'm thinking. Oops, that is not... Anyway, I'll cut it better once I have it in front of the sewing machine. Or do I want it on this side? Mmm, decisions. Okay. Maybe I'll make the ruffle and then decide. <laughs> it's too many, many decisions now at once to make. Okay. And then, okay, let's see what else I have here. I have some green, but it's not the right green. I can always add a doily. When you're doing, putting this on your journal, you'll add more things. So say, for instance, I have this journal cover here. Um, once the cluster is on the cover, like this, it's the cover we made the other day, you can add doilies and things on top of it. So that this is, that's why I'm saying it's more like a cluster for me because it's, um, you'll do this and then keep adding once you put it on the journal. So I'm thinking I'm going to just sew this on. I'll glue some of it just to keep, and then it can sit and dry before I go, whoop, uh, the glue is very runny again today. Oh, and my tool is not here. My spreader is still downstairs because I washed it. So I just want to, and I'm adding the glue kind of where I'm not going to sew. Just want it to glue on there just so it won't move once I start sewing. And where did I put that? Oh, I think I had it the other way around, but it's going down like this now. <laughs> Now I'm thinking maybe, you know, because it's a uh, cover, you want to build it up a little bit. Maybe we'll just add some lace in behind here. And like I said, you can add more um, dimensional things on the cover, which is great. Let's just add that in there. And then. Yes, it just gives it a little bit more. And I'll bring my spreader with me when I come back after sewing because I will need a... Oh, I'm not going to probably leave before then. Anyway, I'm going to add the ruffle there once all of this is dry on the machine. So let's do another one. Oh, my hands are... Let's do a blue one for that cover. And we need to start with a base. I watched Eve from 
scrapbooking with me she did some journal toppers the other day as well i'll try to remember to link her video in my description box as well um, because now i know yeah that's a good size for this journal we'll decorate that journal with a topper once we're done a couple of toppers um, and i want to use more of duke from Duke's craft tables, beautiful images that I printed the other day on um, on fabric. Maybe I'll cut this one with a little border and fray it a bit. So yeah, I if you want to go and buy some, this kit on Duke's craft table it's I think it's fair ladies set one I'll have that in the description box as well as well as the discount code if you want to order from her shop it is 15DT4MM I love this kit it is so pretty Uh, glue on my fingers okay let's see if I can fray this a little bit I'm just pulling the strings that's all I'm doing if you don't know just if you haven't frayed fabric before but I'm sure most of you have done things like this okay so that will come on top of my oh, isn't that just the prettiest image ever just need to get that one out there okay so let's see, I have some blue things here that I thought would work with that cover. So we can't make a topper and then not de decorate a cover. So what do we want behind it? Oh, this fabric <laughs> I got from my sister when I was in South Africa and it's look at how pretty this is. Isn't it just beautiful? But it said printed in South Africa, so I am going to put this in my journal for sure. So I was wondering, should I add this in the back and maybe... Um, let's find something for behind this. I do like that. So let's do this one. And again, I think I'm going to tear this. Oh, sorry for the noise. And my fabric is a little bit bigger than the um, the cardstock part and I'm just fraying it again a little bit I just want it to not look totally straight and yes like I said these tag toppers I think will be beautiful on a greeting card or even scrapbook pages if you don't make it too dimensional I think it would still be a great I mean just think about it if you add a photo here instead of a um, 
printed image. That would be so cute. Anyway, so let's glue this down. Yeah. I didn't think about that, the little tool that's still in the kitchen. I cleaned it, but didn't bring it up. Okay, so then what else shall we add on behind? I have this lace, but it might be too beigey. I have this little ruffle here. Maybe can sit underneath. <laughs> okay. And then this maybe. I just grabbed fabrics that would go with what I was planning to do, so I didn't plan this out, so I'm hoping it will work out and not take forever to finish this. Maybe like that. I have some doily here. I might just kind of cut roughly so it overhangs. Nope, not that rough. Something like that. And and remember you can still build on this once you have your once you put it on the journal. I'm not sure about that, so maybe have this fabric, not the right color. Let's see. Oh, I have the, a little bit of a stripe here. I want it this way. Yeah, I do like that. Let's fray it again. <laughs> Uh, uh, the fraying is just you don't if you don't like the fraying then obviously that's just what I like to do I don't want it to look like I just cut this fabric I want it to look a little old older and used and let's put that in there and I think then I'm going to leave it like that and when I add it to my journal I will build on it more and that's what we're going to do in a bit so let me just get all of this my roses upside down yes let's just do it this way I'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on because I don't want to wait so I'm concentrating kind of to don't not to put the glue on where I'm going to sew. If you have time and for it to dry, then that's not an issue. But my machine does not like to sew through the wet glue. And that's the only reason I'm thinking about that. And let's add this one here. And then add it here. Just going to do that. I'm going to sew and so all of that will be stuck down really well. If you're not sewing obviously add more um, glue. How did I have this one? This way I think. Yes. And this doily even if I just get some on here. Just, I just want it to sit there and not move until I sew it. Okay, so that one can dry. Let's do one more before we do the the um, cover. Just to show you how you would use the journal toppers but if you've made this before you obviously 
will have no problem with using these. Okay, so let's find another image. And I was u thinking about bringing in the Kathy Holden fabric again just because it's so pretty. Um, this one again is flea market fresh. And what did I do I have here? Just looking at the fabrics that I have that might go with this these images on the fabric. Um, we used that one last time. Okay, let me open it and I can see what's going on here. I did start to cut this out. Um, shall we use this image? And we can cut it smaller, I think. Or if we use it this big, we can make it for a bigger journal. Look at that, it's so pretty. Um, these, the, the, this fabric, if you live in Canada, it's hard to find the Kathy Holden fabrics for sure. Um, I bought these from Black Rabbit and I will um, put her um, uh, details in my description box. She, d she sells um, online, so you should be able to order from her online. Um, if I'll just maybe make sure if not I'll add that just mention in the description box that she wouldn't be able to but I'm I she I think she sells online Shall we cut that top part off? Just to kind of keep it a good size to use on a journal. And I am wondering, I have this fabric, I love this. It's the stuff that's actually the interfacing for the wool jackets that I'm taking apart. And I just love it. Let's see if it will tear and look really scruffy with this old photo. Whoops, that one I still need to use. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep this one fairly neutral because I don't know in what journal I will put this. I can always add color to it. This also comes from those um, jackets and I'm thinking I'm going to sew that on but not even, you know, like something like that when I sew it on and do I want to add some of this on there? Not sure. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe I'll do something like that once I sew it on and um, have this circle, nice small doily. I 
could add that on there. And I was thinking maybe some of this. I do like this stuff. Underneath the doily. Then it's too... Well, this will be like this. <laughs> I, because I'm not sewing immediately, I'll, uh, we kind of have to use our imagination for this, but maybe then it doesn't look like too straight but I'm not sure do I want some of this this is from a garment as well shirt or something that my daughter had do I want to add color in here not sure <laughs> okay don't think too much about it okay let's glue this on first because this is definitely going on and make our lives a little bit easier yeah. come on don't move the only reason I put it on a cardstock is because it's just easier to just have a stable backing even for sewing and then when you're gluing it on to a journal and just to store it as well rather than just have a fabric um, backing and that's just me I have this little bit left over from that should we not sure I like the green on here this is kind of gray and still neutral and I can definitely make it smaller and maybe we'll just make a, a fabric cluster on here fabric and lace cluster and can add that on there and this mm, it's hard to decide but that I will again when I'm sewing maybe do um, but some kind of ruffle here on the side I could oh, I could add some music paper if I didn't don't tear it it's very fragile so maybe it's not a good idea for the um, cover of a book it's that fragile Let's make a cluster that we can maybe add on here and then oh, I want it to look more scruffy and okay, that might get into the ruffle somewhere and where did I put that doily? Here. Let's see if we can find another piece. And I was thinking of some of this more solid piece. Yeah, something like that. Okay. That's a plan. I am going to go to the sewing machine and add my cluster sew everything together and come back and then we can decorate that cover so I did the sewing I started recording and there was a bee in my room and I yeah it was just too annoying to listen to so I'm going to redo this this is the one that I've sewn and added the ruffle to. I decided to add it, add these three um, postage stamps. That's also from the Kathy Holden fabric. And then this one I decided just to keep neutral because I didn't know where I'm going to put it on which journal. And when I had the other ruffles sewn, it was just too much compared to this. So we're going to work with that as is. And then I finished this one and we I decorated the <laughs> cover and recorded it all 
but the B was just I couldn't listen to it so I'm going to redo this but that was the other one finished um, we'll just end up with two covers finished that is just what's going to happen so I'm going to bring in this was the other cover that we made the other day I just want to fold this I didn't fold it totally straight we'll just decorate this one okay I just want to get this folded really straight okay so I am thinking this probably won't work on this and this is the only cover I have finished so it's going to be this one will be have to be the winner <laughs> because that one's not going to work on this cover um, so if you do want to go watch the I think I just need to lift this up a little bit um, the video on how we did the covers it is I don't can't remember which day that was when did we do the journal covers anyway I I will have the video in the description box or you can look on my playlist for the 100 day project so we'll do this one for this journal and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to make this work but we will just have to um, we can always add some of this lace underneath to make it look a little more girly maybe and then the lace on the spine will strengthen the spine as well so that will kind of fold over like that if we do this um, and maybe we should do it the other way around and have the pretty piece let me just see let me cut this oh, I can like I say I have no idea what I want to do because this I thought I'll be decorating the the blue journal I had some extra fabrics and stuff ready for that but not for this so we'll just have to make it work so bear with me if this takes a little longer okay so we'll do that maybe and cut it smaller and then just have to raise this up this because it's a little bit bigger there okay that works um i still have some of this fabric here don't think i want to add that to the bottom still have this doily here probably should have brought more things in but i was just so disappointed that the video that the bee love the bees but sometimes they're not um, working with us anyway there maybe something like that and if i had something purple to bring in let's see what's on the kathy holden fabric for color just looking here there's something purple but it's very purple just because the background has purple in it we can use something else maybe something like that cut it out or there's these tags they are green but I don't think that is too much of a problem um, okay let's cut out those tags and see how we can use them there's also a cancel check that might work that might work And then this little photo for the back, maybe. I'm off camera because this is a big piece of fabric. I am busy cutting all these pieces out so I can use them on slow stitching projects and things like that. And I have to tell you again, I know, I think I've mentioned it yesterday as well, but. I um, 
on Cheryl Telephus. She just renamed her journal. It's um, the Journal Cottage now. And she said, have some hand sanitizer on your desk to clean your scissors and hands. And it was after all that glue I had on my hand, it was just two minutes and the glue was gone. So thank you, Cheryl, for that tip again. Don't know if it was her original tip and if she heard it from somewhere else, but that's where I heard it. I know um, Christina from Christina's Creations said she has a san hand sanitizer on her desk as well all the time. So the idea is floating out there for sure. I'm just seeing more images that I might want to use on this cover to add some color maybe in here. Let's see what we can do. Like I said, this, my plans totally <laughs> were ruined by that little cute bee. I had to help it outside the window so it can and I hope it didn't come back I just thought I heard it again okay anyway let's focus on the cover and I'm cutting things out and I'm not sure if I'll use it but let's see Oh, and the other person that I thought I need to mention again is um, Laurie from Enchanted Dreams 72. She is almost at 2,000 subscribers. She just had a birthday two days ago. So go to her channel as well, Enchanted Dreams 72, uh, 71, 71. Sorry, <laughs> Laurie. Um, I will have her channel name in my description box as well. And yeah, without you guys, we can't do any of this, honestly, without your support. And I have to thank everybody that's been supporting me and and also people that has placed orders in my shop that I know um, watches every day and comments. Um, Cheryl and Deb and Jessica, I know you guys just did orders um, this week. Thank you for that. I truly appreciate you and I know um, you know there's other other subscribers that has ordered papers for me as well. Betty um, can't sorry if I I will try. T I can't remember everybody, but that was just the recent orders that I've sent out. We are working every day in dyeing papers, so I'm not going to s say sorry about my hands every day, but that is why my hands might be looks like that my fingers are stained or dirty but they're actually stained um, from all the dyeing even if you wear gloves i don't know it always it seems like there's always a little rip somewhere that um, goes through and stains your fingers because i am wearing gloves because some of it has some alum in it and even the tea the tea is very hard on your hands and I'm wondering should I just do this and not overdo it I think it's pretty cute it, this adds a little bit of color or do I want this on there I just saw this <laughs> just two seconds let's just see I'm just going to cut it out roughly. I might not use it, so. Do you 
just thinking I want a little bit more color on here and this I can take over to the back as well just bear with me I'm going to fussy cut this and to make a decision and this is not the best scissors for fussy cutting but I think that's what I the only sharp scissors I think the other small scissors I have here won't fussy cut through fabric And again, I am going to sew on this, and that's why I haven't put the end papers in on the inside of my journal. I might, I, I'm, because I'm going to sew on the top again, that would show in, inside the journal. And so then I can just glue my end papers, or if I'm using fabric on top of that sewing to cover it, if, you know, at the end. So I'm doing the end papers always last. That's just what I like to do. Okay, let's see if I add this on here. Yes, I do think I like that. Okay, so let's start gluing. Um, I am not going to glue everything down just like I did with the topper because I am going to sew on here. But if you're not going to sew, make sure you glue everything down really well. The other thing is with fabric tack spread the glue. If you do not spread it, sometimes it bleeds through and make a darker spot on your fabric. And the other thing that it will do, I find, especially when you're adding a lot of glue, the it will go a little stiff. But the more you open and close your journal, especially here on the um, spine it will be very stiff because usually I add more glue to the spine just to make sure it doesn't bubble up because you don't normally sew on the spine um, it just keep moving it and the more you write in it and the more you play with your book the glue will soften and not have that stiffness to it if you're going to not work in your journal and just leave it and to sit on the shelf, that stiffness would probably stay. See, like here, I'm going to add more glue than I did in the front. And that might cause it to be a little stiff. And if let me know if you find the same about fabric tack. If I'm working with papers, I like to simply, this isn't straight, I like to use Mod Podge rather than Fabric Tac to glue on my covers just to make it less stiff. Anyway, there. And I'll have to use Cheryl's tip again soon because my hands is covered in glue. fingers because I forgot my spreader again downstairs said I'll bring it up but I didn't okay maybe I want it this way and some glue for the doily okay a very unplanned what did I do with the other image oh here it is it is definitely not planned this cover at all but I hope it will work out and um, just wondering do I want a little bit of lace or maybe some of this doily let's just see on the edge here. I can cut that a little bit down. Yes, I do like that. Oh, and the 100 giveaway. If you want to participate in the 100 giveaway, um, you need
need to comment on more than one video watch and comment and be subscribed to the channel of course and um, yes the more you watch the more you comment the more chances you have that I will nominate you for the 100 day giveaway and I nominate two people every day so this will be sewn around and then it will have more like a definite edge to it anyway so the nominees for today I think the other day I forgot to say the nominees but they are in the description box the nominees for today is Kathy and Cheryl and I'll have your names in the description box again and uh, I'm not sh I think if you have if you go to the and now we're going to decorate the back we need something on the back too if you go to we you know that bell where you it says if you have a on the top right corner of YouTube if you go there and um it, to see if you have messages it will say messages and then it will also say mentions next to it once you click on that pink um, bell it would also say mentions in there and if you click on that you will see if somebody mentioned you on a description box or a title of a, of a video and I'm not sure if that's only for when your um, channel is public set to public but just maybe if you want to make sure that you haven't missed the nominee but your name is in the in the jar for the 100 day project 100 day giveaway if you have been nominated but if you are scared that you missed a nomination you can definitely go in there and see um, where does these go something like this just need a little something on the back too I think can't forget about the back anyway the 100 day draw will be after the 100 day project is done on day 100 there will be another draw we did one on day 50 so you will receive an envelope with finished ephemera from day 51 to 100 and then so yeah, just keep commenting it obviously comments help my channel if you like and hit that notification bell that helps me too I would really appreciate that it just helps me for YouTube to recommend me to other people anyway enough about YouTube that is the finished cover and it's not dry yet but it looks good I actually do like it I might cut a little bit of this away but leave some of it and I think I'll leave that and I will sew around everything here and then you need to finish the inside and add some papers and it's done so you can see once you have um, a couple of finished journal covers like we did in one of the videos I'll link that video in the description box then and you have some journal toppers done then it is so easy to finish up a journal it is honestly it is fast you just need a couple of extra things to add to the journal cover anyway thank you again to Tina for all her wonderful ideas that I can just follow along for my the theme to my 100 day project um, other people are doing the same thing for the 100 day project they're doing they might pick a theme like I know Artie Mays is doing um, book pages um, somebody else now I can't remember who is doing um, 100 uh, entries to her daily journal which I think is a great idea too I might have to do that next year uh, anyway if you just um, search hashtag the 100 day project 100 in its 100 you will see all the other participants and there's partic people participating on Facebook and Instagram and all of those as well I got two journal covers um, finished thanks to the, the, my little 
friend, my little bee visitor. And um, so, and thank you to all of you for your support. Thank you for watching. And I will see you again tomorrow with another 100 day project. Tomorrow we're doing cluster bases. Another great thing to have on hand and just to decorate when you are ready to finish your journal. So I'll see you tomorrow and thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.